Hello everybody, my name is Steve Moore. I'm the owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about the new New Balance Fresh Foam 880 version 11. Quite a mouthful. Uh, so this comes out in early March of 2021. This is sort of the crown jewel in New Balance's crown, I guess. Um, this is their workhorse everyday neutral shoe. So for us, there's really two big New Balance shoes that we carry. Obviously we carry a couple of others that are sprinkled into our lineup, but like the two big ones that every run specialty shop carries is the 880 and its companion shoe, the 860. So this is a mid cushion neutral shoe. I kind of call this a shoe that's good from a mile to a marathon. This is really a workhorse shoe that while there's stuff that's more cushiony and stuff that's less cushiony, you can do a bit of everything in. And we're gonna talk about some of the changes that have come down the line from this shoe over the years. This shoe used to be a much, to me, firmer, stiffer shoe. It was kind of interesting because you had the stability version of this shoe and the neutral version of this shoe, and they both kind of felt a little bit similar to me. The arch profile was firmer in the 860, the stable version than this, but still putting it on, it had a bit of like a clunk feel to it. You could almost kind of hear people when they were walking around in this shoe because it just felt so stiff and firm. Not a bad thing, that was just their thing. And um, you know, we talk about a lot when people come in here, especially if they're new to the whole fitting process and trying out new running shoes, as I might pull a bunch of different stuff. If I determine that they're like a neutral runner or you know, the type of stuff that they're looking at, I might say, hey, let's try a couple of different things and see what works for you. And that's what happens a lot of times is you sort of put a shoe on and you go, yeah, that's sort of the style that I like, that's sort of fit for my foot. So we always found that like the New Balance and the 880 for somebody in that neutral category, somebody that didn't have a lot of overpronation, it was like the firmest of that category. And we would say like, there are some people that like a mattress, a really soft, squishy mattress, and maybe we want to put them in like, you know, one of those big boys on the wall over there. And then we might somebody who wants like a little bit firmer shoe, something they can put on their foot and feel like there's something there under their foot. They can feel nice and sturdy in that shoe without having too much arch profile like we would expect in a neutral shoe. Over the last two years, they've made a change and made this shoe considerably softer compared to the previous versions. And it makes sense, you know, it's, it's a nice distinction between the two shoes. You have somebody that wants a softer everyday neutral shoe, great. If you need somebody that needs a little bit more arch support, something a little bit more stable, great. You have the Companion 860. So now there's a nice differential between the two. And so I pulled out one of the old guys. So this is version nine. It almost looks like it's clunkier. I don't know what it is, but like now can I hold this shoe up even though we had it for so long? Like it just feels so different and antiquated compared to what the new ones are. The stuff that we started seeing last year with version 10 is more of the, is the, is the fresh foam underneath foot, you know, with the blown foam through the forefoot and you can feel that it's a little bit more softer and squishy. You can really just like squish into it and you really just couldn't do that in the old one. Like it felt really stiff. So now we have sort of a, an even softer version of this shoe. Still has that full blown foam through it and still called the now it's the fresh foam because they're really trying to hit that home. So it's softer, it's a little bit more squishy compared to what we've been before. And we've added a couple characteristics that we have been seeing from New Balance down the pipeline, stuff like in the heel cup here. So um, if we're looking at what the last version was, we had sort of a traditional nice padded heel cup to it. And then we saw stuff this is the 860, this is our stable model. We were seeing this on a lot of New Balance shoes. They were going to this more easy to slide in heel cup to it. I am mixed feelings on this new style. It seems like a lot of brands are going this way and some have better success than others. There is still a good percentage of people and we found it more on New Balance than some of the other brands like the 1080 and, and even you know, on the 60 that some people found like the way that this was curved in was putting a little bit too much pressure on their Achilles or it just didn't feel like they were fit in the shoe as well. So this is sort of like a hybrid. So we've got some of the padding that we had in our previous version and just a little bit taller here. So it doesn't have that much as much a pronounced divot on your heel as we saw on the previous, on, on like our stable guy, the 860, but still more of a little bit more rounded and higher heel cup to it compared to where we've been on our previous version of it. So just a little bit difference there that I wanted to point out. Over the years, this shoe has also gotten a little bit wider. And that's one nice thing because we always almost found with some of the New Balance shoes in the past that we had to sort of lean people up in sizing to accommodate the width. And sometimes they're even just cut a little bit shorter, you know. This shoe is pulled a lot against like a Brooks Ghost. And sometimes the Brooks Ghost, you, you know, you are a you know, size X. And the New Balance, while it might fit, um, it, it might be something that you would pull for a similar customer, you almost had to change the size. I found on the new version, version 11, that the width is great on it. It really seems like they're, they're listening to their customers and getting just a little bit wider across the board. Um, 
I almost feel like I could still go up a half size. I'm 11 and a half in a lot of my stuff. And I'm like, I'm okay in 11 and a half, but if I, but I would be fine in a 12 as well. Um, I feel like if you're, if you were on the cusp between two sizes, if you sort of oscillate depending on the model, I, I would still probably consider rounding up to the higher, to the larger size in your New Balance 880. Um, talking about the durability of this shoe, uh, you know, there are some brands that we carry on the wall that people will come back to and, and we hear from time to time and they'll say, hey, you know, I love this shoe, but I only got 250 miles out of this shoe or whatever it may be. You don't hear that with New Balance. That's one nice thing. And I, you know, we, we say like, there's a reason why New Balance has been around so long is they make really good durable products. They make really good durable products. This shoe is a workhorse shoe. This should be your four or 500 mile shoe that you can be able to do a little bit of everything in. And it's not super heavy. It's not like you have to put on a shoe now that's 11, 12 ounces to get that extra durability. You know, on the men's side, it's 10 and a half ounces. It's pretty comparable to stuff in that category. Some of the other brands that have that mid cushion neutral shoe. The difference being, you're gonna get a little more miles out of it. And, and compared to some of their stuff in this mid cushion category, I have no problem putting people in the shoe to do longer miles in. There's some stuff that considered a mid cushion neutral shoe that if somebody said, I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna use this for my training up for a marathon and then race my marathon in it, I might say, hey, why don't we think about a shoe that might straddle a little bit more cushion to it, just to give yourself some more protection. This shoe is perfectly fine, in my opinion, to be able to go from, a set a mile to a marathon. One of the other nice things about this shoe is we were, we were talking about the stability version versus the neutral version, is I can feel the lateral support on this shoe, which is nice. You know, it's somebody who needs a neutral shoe, is somebody who, when they're looking at a tread pattern on their shoe, on a shoe without any guidance built into it, we're looking to see more wear pattern down the middle or maybe some on the outside of the shoe. If you find that you're wearing your shoes and you have a lot, of, a lot of wear pattern on the inside, on the medial side, then you might need a shoe that has a little bit extra arch support. So for somebody who's wearing down the inside of their shoe like that, I might say, hey, then you should, you should try the 860. Because the 860 has this little piece here that has a little bit more density and a little bit more structure to it, designed to keep you from rolling too far on the inside. You know, the idea, it'd be nice when everybody came in that we saw their wear pattern, everything was right down the middle. Cause that means no matter what they were doing, we were able to counter it one way or the other and try to keep all your momentum in the middle. And we've always found if we can kind of keep you stable from the ground up, then stuff like your knees and your hips and everything kind of falls in line. But when you come in and all your wear is one way or the other, then maybe we need to do some sort of adjustment on it. So this shoe is great for somebody who, I'm losing my shoes here, somebody who, who wears, takes a neutral shoe and they continue to wear more neutral or on the lateral side. But this shoe now, the way I can feel that lateral support, it's a great shoe for somebody who really pushes to the outside. This will be something that I'll pull consistently for somebody who comes in and says, you know, I supinate a good bit. I have IT band syndrome. You know, I, I'm rolling to the outside too much. I can make sure that this shoe is gonna give them a little bit of that correction to keep them in the middle. So this is our New Balance 880 version 11. It comes in a variety of widths. It comes in a variety of colors. I just have two out here, but you'll see on our, our website that there's a bunch of different things to pick from and a bunch of different widths going all the way up to like a 4E and such in it. So you should be able to find a version of this shoe that's made for you. And, and still, you know, a lot of the brands that we carry, I would say of, of all of them, I'd say New Balance is one that when we hear people come in and say like, you know, my, my, my podiatrist, my physical therapist, my whatever said to get a good pair of New Balance, they're talking about two shoes. They're talking about an 880 and they're talking about an 860. And, and one of the things that's kind of cool about these shoes also is they're really only sold in run specialist shops. You might be able to go down the street and find like a, you know, a sporting goods store. Um, that's just a, a big box chain sporting goods store, but they're not going to carry these. New Balance has really just separated these shoes and put them in run specialist shops like ours. We weren't even until a year ago allowed to really put this on our website, but with all the COVID changes, they've, they've eased that restriction. So now if you wanted to check this out, you can get it on our site. Uh, the link is down below, by the way. And if you enter promo code run more one word at checkout, uh, you'll save 10%. And we'll ship it out for free. So I'm um, curious if you've had success in the past for a couple of generations of the 880, or if you, especially if you notice some differences going from the stiffer version, version nine, moving into the fresh foam version from version 10, what you felt about that. If it was something that you enjoyed, or if you felt like you lost some of the inherent stability that was just naturally in that shoe as it is. So thank you so much. I appreciate you checking out our channel. Give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. It really does help us in the analytics of Google or uh, on the YouTubes and all that good jazz. Stay safe out there and happy spring running. You can tell it's, it's March out here now. I'm in short sleeves and I'm extremely pale. So I'm ready to go out there and start rocking some short sleeve runs and uh, get a little bit of color in this pale body. Thank you so much.